Now, your KRBC Storm Team forecast with meteorologist Grant Tosterud. Well, our streak of extreme heat has finally come to an end today. That cold front that moved through yesterday afternoon still brought in some pretty warm temperatures, but now today finally going to see those return to near seasonal normals across the big country. It's 71 to get you out the door here this morning in Abilene. A very mild start to your day and a beautiful sunrise out there this morning too. Yesterday I mentioned we did see some very warm temperatures along and ahead of that front. In fact, Brownwood broke a record high yesterday, 111 11 degrees down there. Coleman even came in at 109. Breckenridge 104 Sweetwater made it to 102 even here in yes or even here in Abilene yesterday. We broke that century mark, making it to 101 degrees for our high, not near that record yesterday. That's good news for us, but it did bring our days of 100 degree weather up to 20 here in Abilene, a little above or ways above that average of 12. We see in a typical year, nothing like the 30 or more days in that down in Brownwood. They've already seen a 100 degree weather so far this year and over 30 up in Knox City as well, so we could have it worse, but definitely we're seeing our fair share of 100 degree weather here in Abilene. It looks like for now we're not going to add to that total at least yet. We're going to stay right around the mid and upper 90s for at least the next five days or so. 95 for a high today. That's our average high for this time of year, so right on par. Could be into the upper 90s Wednesday into Thursday. Some of us getting back into that century territory again as we head into the end of this week. And again on Saturday, 98 back up there. We could throw in a couple chances for rain later this week too, but the heat not quite going anywhere yet. So if you're headed out to Tour de Gap on Saturday down in Buffalo Gap, Temperature is going to be very pleasant to get you out there this morning as that race starts in the mid 70s. Might be a little bit on the humid side, though, and they're going to warm very quickly as you head into the rest of the afternoon, already into the mid and upper 90s by your lunchtime. So those temperatures are going to rise very quickly, topping out at near 100 degrees by 5 o'clock. So whether you're the riders or just standing out there watching or any of the volunteers, be sure you have ways to stay cool and drink plenty of water. It's going to be a toasty one out there again on Saturday down in Buffalo Gap. This morning, your temperatures to get you out the door in the 70s out there. Some of us even in the upper 60s off through Aspermont this morning, so very mild to get you out the door. Temperatures about 10 degrees cooler than what we saw yesterday morning. Heading into your lunchtime plans, staying fairly mild into the upper 80s, a few lower 90s out there. Still the warmest of those temperatures going to be down towards Brownwood, where the cooler air has yet to make it down there thanks to that cold front yesterday. High is going to top out this afternoon in the mid 90s. A few upper 90s. Brownwood could get close to that centering mark, but I think for the most part, we're all going to stay in the 90s this afternoon. Away from those triple digits, could see a few clouds make their way in again. Mostly sunny skies through the rest of your Tuesday. Tonight will cool back down into the mid and lower 70s by tomorrow morning. Very light easterly winds. A perfect night though with partly cloudy skies out there. Pretty on par for this time of year. Temperatures are going to stay in the mid and upper 90s through the, next, the rest of this week. Throwing in a chance for an isolated shower or thunderstorm Thursday night into early Friday morning. Next week another weak front is going to move in on Monday. It's going to drop us back into the mid 90s again and could bring another chance for isolated showers. Alright, did I really see that it said 111 at Brownwood yesterday? Yes, no wonder those poor individuals in Zephyr and the, and the fire dangers down there. All right, everyone, take caution out there. Elevated fire risk. We really need some rain.